Well, hello, my friends. Thank you so much for stopping by today. And as always, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to uh, listen to me ramble about knives. <laughs> so today I'm gonna do a short review of this knife right here. This is the James Brand Folsom. Now I did show this knife in a previous video that I did, um, but it was very briefly. Um, and what I wanted to do was do a full review of this knife today. So uh, I'm not going to make it too long, but I am going to give you my opinions and just show you a little bit of the detail of this thing. Okay, so first off, um, this is the packaging that it came with. Now, normally I would not call that much attention to the packaging, but this is actually... Um, quite a nice package that they send it in and it's quite unique. I don't really know of anyone who's actually doing it this way, but you get this um, standard sleeved box here. Once you remove the sleeve, you know, there's some information in there if you want to open that up, but they provide a little slip that comes with it. Um, and this is like a textured um, sort of fiber cloth. And uh, yeah, so you can store your knife in there or carry it there if you would like. Um, they give you that. And then the knife itself came, oh, how does it go? Came like this, stored in this really nice um, plywood style um, tray here. So anyway, you know, I know a lot of people like when they spend money for a knife that they are paying for the knife, they're not really want to pay for the packaging, but this is a fantastic presentation. And you know, I do want to give props where they are due and um, good job James Brand for having some, you know, great packaging and um, you know, this is great marketing. So, hey, you know what? Um, yeah. All right, that's enough about that. <laughs> anyway, let's let's move on to the knife. Okay, so I have been EDCing this uh, this knife for probably about I want to say uh, three weeks, and I have been using it extensively. And um, my experience with it has been very positive. Okay, so looking at these scales, what we have here is a green micarta. I know in this camera it's coming out a little bit brownish, but it, it is green. Um, and it's textured. It's got a very natural type of texture to it. It's not that smooth lacquered micarta, uh, micarta that you sometimes find. Now, I don't mind that, um, but I do prefer the uh, textured style like this. And this feels like very good quality micarta. You also get a micarta backspacer that matches these scales. And um, it's, it's, it's very nicely done. There's not a lot of contouring here. You know, you can see some here and we'll talk about that a little bit more when we talk about ergonomics. But yeah, fantastic scales. And as you guys know, if you've watched some of my videos, I have a soft spot for micarta. It's actually one of the reasons why I bought this knife, coupled with the fact that um, I like its design. But anyway, uh, on the pivot, you have some little bit of grooving detail there. You got one screw here for the scales, another screw here, and then you do get a lanyard hole. I have not put a lanyard on this yet, but I will because I love lanyards. Um, on the other side, you get the deep carry pocket, pocket clip, which works very, very well. Um, it's finished in like a nice uh, mirror style finish, so it's shiny, and you get the James Brand logo there. Um, the screws that hold the clip in, um, which is like... Um, internal um, are countersunk so they are flat with the scales I know that's a big deal for some people uh, in terms of removing the knife in and out of the pocket that um, those screws if they are sticking out can cause a problem anyway um, very nice execution on the um, scales and you do get two pretty good sized liners um, running the length of the knife and I think that they are milled out a little bit, but either way, the knife is not really um, that heavy. So yeah, fantastic. So uh, let's get to the blade. Uh, basically, uh, what you have here is a full flat ground VG10 blade that is 2.75 inches long. So um, in terms of legal restrictions, that's a great size because there are a lot of communities and states and countries that restrict their blades down to three inches or less. So 2.75, uh, 2 uh, no question there that that can be legal uh, with a three, three inch blade restriction. 
and um, it is a fantastic size for an EDC. Uh, I know I've said this before, but uh, between 2.75 inches or 2.6 inches and 3 inches, I think, is a sweet spot for an, uh, an EDC knife for me. Um, and this is no exception. This is great. Um, real quick, this is a liner lock um, for the locking mechanism. And as you can see here, there's a very large uh, lock, lock bar right there. So, uh, you know, depending on, you know, where you press, you know, you're always going to be able to get that. Um, you know, disengaged pretty easily, um, gives you a lot of space to do it. Now, uh, when I first got this knife, the action was very stiff. I had to go ahead and loosen up the pivot right there just a little bit, and when I did, uh, the action came alive. Now, I wouldn't call this a drop shutty knife. It definitely isn't, and uh, it's not, you know, a very fidgetable knife, all right? Most of the time, I think when you deploy this, you'll just flick it open like that with the uh, the thumb stud. I'm sorry, not the thumb stud, the thumb cutout. And yeah, that's it. Uh, I think a lot of times too, you might just uh, slow roll it open like that. So it, it, it does have some jimping here, um, which is very, very comfortable and in the perfect spot for use. Uh, and, and, I, and I do like it very much. Now, um, you know, just going back to the action, I think it's running on washers. It's definitely not running on bearings. So if you're looking for a knife for your EDC that's going to have really smooth sort of, you know, ball bearing action, this is not going to be the knife for you. Um, that's not to say that the action is bad. It's just, um, you know, it's, you know, serviceable. <laughs> I guess that's the best way I can put it. Um, now, in terms of the cutout, um, one of the things I wish um, that they did was make the cutout a little bit bigger uh, because as you can see, you know, on the other side, that's the liner there. So, you know, if you're into doing that middle flicking uh, spidey flick thing, you're not going to be able to do it with this. Um, so it's just not big enough. And, you know, I have sort of small to medium small hands and my thumb just barely gets in there to uh, deploy the knife. So if you have big hands, that may be something you want to consider here, um, that this cutout is really um, not that big. I don't think you'll have a problem opening the knife, but, you know, it, it, it's just something to consider. It, it works. It's just I wish it were a little bit bigger. Uh, the blade itself is fantastic. Um, this full flat grind coupled with the fact that it's very, very thin behind the edge. Also coupled with the fact that um, it came very, very sharp. And uh, even through all the use I've put this thing through, and um, I have put it through some heavy, extensive cardboard cutting because um, I did have to break down a bunch of boxes here at the house. And I've, I've just, I've cut everything with it um here everything that i put my edc through i have i have done with this it has performed great and the edge is still incredibly sharp um, i have not stropped it or sharpened it um, it has the factory edge on it um, and it's 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 awesome it, it really is it's it's very very sharp uh, the edge is one of the the highlights of this thing and uh, like i said with the full flat grind and the um thinness behind the edge it is great now the steel is vg10 um, which is by no means um, a super steel right uh, it's sort of a mid-grade steel i would say lower mid-grade i don't know um, but i like vg10 it sharpens up great it has great stainless capabilities um, and it, it's just a very good steel and it's usually not very expensive um, now, this is something that I will have to say about this particular knife. Uh, actually, well, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, VG10 steel, this particular VG10 is great. However, they heat treated it and, you know, uh, processed it, it it's, it's great. It's very durable and holds a great edge. Um, now, ergos, because this is the last point I want to touch on before I give my final opinion. The ergonomics on this knife are awesome from my hand. Uh, it does not have that forward finger choil that I like. However, with this contouring here and this large curve, my fingers just sink right in there. Your thumb naturally sits on that jimping and you get a fantastic purchase on this thing. Um, the amount of control that you feel like you have with this 
is amazing. Coupled with the um, textured uh, micarta scales, it's just the grip and ergos on it are just so pleasurable, um, in my opinion. And, 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 you know, it's very surprising because, you know, you take a look at this um, handle and there's not a lot of contouring. This handle, if I were to just look at it and, you know, you would ask me, you know, how is that in terms of ergonomics? Just by looking at it, I would say eh, it's probably not that good because, you know, it looks like it's just very plain that there's not a lot going on. But whoever designed this uh, spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to make this thing comfortable. And it is. Um, the lines are just perfect. Um, you know, you got this little dip in here and then you got the deeper one here. It just fits the hand so nicely. So uh, it's very well thought out and um, I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, it's extremely comfortable. The usability of this thing is just great. Uh, this makes a fantastic work knife. And um, if you are looking for that really nice work knife that also can be a bit classy too because of the micarta, it just has that sort of upscale look um, and feel. Um, that's the other thing. The build quality is very, very good. Um, it definitely feels like a um, more higher end knife in terms of its build quality. I will have to say that. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased. Oh, by the way, there's a little bit of branding there, James. And then um, right here is the model number and then the blade designation, steel designation is right there. It says VG10. It's hard to see, but um, yeah, not a lot of branding going on on the blade, which I like very, uh, very minimal there. And um, it's a great knife, guys. I uh, can highly recommend this for um, an EDC if you guys are looking to pick up something that is, um, you know, a little bit more unique and, um, you know, less well known or I should say less represented out there in the in the uh, knife world other than like Benchmade, Spyderco and, you know, the other brands that um, people are really into. James Brand, um, I think they're fairly new. And uh, they are situated in Portland, Oregon, but their knives are um, made and produced um, in China. Now, that's not to say that these are low quality knives. They are very high quality. Um, and, you know, the fit and finish and the attention to detail on these is very, very good. Um, so just, just know that, you know, you, if you do buy this, you are buying a quality product. Now, I don't really know much about their um, warranty information or anything, anything like that. But uh, I assume if you have a problem, you can contact them and, and they'll take care of it. But you'll have to check that out for yourself. Um, so these are, like I said, these are about $120. Um, I'm not actually sure if I mentioned that. But these go for $120. I think in the previous video where I showed this knife uh, in my 2022 summer wrap-up video, I said that these were going for $140 or $145. That is not correct. Um, this knife is $120. And if you go on Blade HQ right now, um, I'll put a link down in the description below actually where you can get it, where I got mine, which was Blade HQ. Uh, there are $119. So, um, you know... My criticisms of this thing um, are as follows, okay? It's 120 bucks. It's pretty expensive for an EDC, right? I mean, most people, most common people who are not into knives and are collectors like me and maybe you, um, $120 is not really a big deal, right? Um, or maybe it is, depending on your income level. I don't know, everybody has different budgets, right? And uh, But most people, uh, average people um, are not going to want to spend, you know, over 30, 40, 50 bucks for a knife that they're going to carry throughout the day and beat up and whatnot. They just not, they're just not going to justify, uh, it just doesn't, you know, they can't justify spending that much money. Now, we as collectors and enthusiasts, we will. Um, so the 120 bucks for me is really not that big of a deal. However, I do wish that it came with a better blade steel. Now, I'm not a blade snob, um, a blade steel snob by any means of the imagination. I like VG10 very much. I have it on many knives. I think it performs extremely well, and this one here performs great. There's no problem with it whatsoever. It's just, the thing is, um, a lot of companies, especially those that are having their knives produced in China where they're saving labor, 
um, have been providing good quality steel, better quality steel than this for lower prices. Um, I was searching a knife man, uh, a knife retailer's website the other day, and I saw a knife, you know, that was about seventy something dollars. I wish, I wish I had like taken note of it, but it had S thirty five VN steel, and it was, you know, well under a hundred dollars. Um, so. Good steels like S30V and S35VN and, you know, some of the others, they are coming down in price. Um, and, you know, as other super steels are sort of entering the market, those are coming down. Um, so I think you could probably, if they're going to ask $120 for this knife, I do think that a better steel would be um, appropriate, you know, for that price. Um, other than the price and the steel right not not that there's a problem with the steel the steel on this knife is great it works awesome i had no problems with it in fact it's 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 actually quite impressive uh, i just think for the price and the the competition that's out there um they could go with something a little bit more high end i guess um and the cutout on the um the hole on the blade i wish was a little bit bigger other than that I actually really, really like this knife, guys. I highly recommend it. I'm really enjoying using it, and uh, I'm going to continue to carry it for a little bit longer and before I take it out of rotation or, you know, get something else into my pocket. Um, and, you know, it will definitely make its way back in because it's, it's a fantastic knife. Um, I really enjoy it. So, yes, thank you so much for coming by today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. And uh, please leave a like and or subscribe and stay tuned for other videos that are going to be coming up soon. Um, I'm trying to do one video a week uh, with my new job, which has been um, great, but very stressful and time consuming as I get uh, adjusted and, you know, learn my new role. Um, I just have been exhausted when I come home from work and just do not have the energy to do videos or really anything else but um you know great knife guys uh check it out i think it's uh well worth your time and effort and money um till next time have a really good week have a great uh rest of your day stay safe and i'll see you guys later bye